Uh, they did lose some seats, but certainly not as bad as what well, those opinion polls that we were looking at last week suggested. Now, this was a wild card election, obviously. Uh, within uh, the first month of Fumio Kishida's job as prime minister, he took that role October 4th, uh, and a general election was called fairly quickly uh, to solidify a mandate, but potentially, according to the pre election uh, opinion polls from the likes of the Nikkei as well as Yomiuri, it could have been much, much worse. In fact, they were, there were some projections uh, that they could lose the single party majority, but still hold on to the majority with its uh, junior your partner, Komei Ito. As it turned out, it was kind of good and bad for the LDP. They held on to the single party outright majority with 261 seats. Uh, they had 276 uh, before the lower house was dissolved ahead of this election. So they did lose about 15 seats. Komei Ito, though, picked up three. Net net, they lost together about a 12 seats, thereabouts. Uh, still, of course, these are reports uh, from the likes of NHK, and the final tallies will be coming uh, a little bit later. Uh, but again, you know, now is the time to go forward. He set the bar pretty low, Kishida san. He said, My number one goal is to hold on to that majority, however slim it might be. And it is the slimmest. LDP majority since 2012. So he has his work cut out for him to push ahead with his agenda to not only raise wages, uh, but also battle the inequalities that have bubbled up even more in Japan through the pandemic, while also spending big. He's pledged tens of trillions of yen for pandemic relief in stimulus, but also the more controversial angle to that of spending is defense spending. So the opposition, they didn't necessarily come through like they promised, CDP losing seats, but Ishin gaining seats. Ishin now the third largest party in parliament.